You want to get mods in Minecraft 1.21.4? Well, this video is going to show you exactly how to do that. Now, first things first, we're going to need a mod loader. For this video, we're going to be using Neo Forge, but that's not the only mod loader that's out there. There's also Fabric and Forge, and you kind of need to pick a mod loader before you get started because your mods that you can use are dependent on the mod loader you choose. For example, Forge mods won't work with Fabric, Fabric mods won't work with Neo Forge, and Neo Forge mods will not work with Forge. You may have seen in the past they will, they won't anymore, so Forge mods will only work with Forge, and Neo Forge mods will only work with Neo Forge. What's the difference between these loaders? Well, truthfully, a lot of it's on the development side. Sometimes Fabric can be a bit more lighter and things like that, but it's not a ton lighter than Neo Forge is, for example. So I would recommend finding some mods. In the description down below, there's two places that we recommend getting mods from, CurseForge and Moderinth, and both are linked down below. As far as looking for mods, it's actually pretty cool. On CurseForge here, you can sort by mod loader, so NeoForge in this case, and version 1.21.4, because mods for older versions of mod Minecraft, even if they're for the same bloater, for example, NeoForge, will not work. They have to be for NeoForge and 1.21.4. Now, with that being said, here we are. We have all of our mods that are compatible with NeoForge and 1.21.4 on CurseForge. The same can be done on Moderinth on the left-hand side. We want NeoForge and we want 1.21.4, and there you go. So all these are linked down below. And again, in this video, we're going to be using NeoForge, but we have guides on Fabric and Forge in the description as well. With that being said, let's get started by downloading NeoForge, which you can find at the second link in the description down below. Once you're here, go ahead and download the latest NeoForge installer by clicking this button. And when you do, the download will begin. You're going to go ahead and keep or save this. Once downloading, how to us from our company, Simple Game Host, and go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown to XYZ SGH, where you can easily start a modded Minecraft server. Yes, do you want to play Minecraft mods with your friends? Well, that's what Simple Game Hosting makes easy. With one-click mod pack installation and super easy, switching from NeoForge to Forge, for example, for your version, and even uploading mods to your server is quick and easy as well. On top of that, there's expert live chat support. So let's say you upload 20 mods to your server, you start the server, and it's just not working. Well, their expert live chat support team is there at Simple Game Hosting to help fix those issues and get your server online with those mods. So, nevertheless, check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown.xyz says SGA and start playing modded Minecraft with your friends the simple way. So NeoForge is downloaded. We are going to go ahead and get some mods as well. For example, we need Waystones. Now, one thing to check when you're downloading mods is if it requires something. Now, for Waystones, it's pretty clear what it requires. Right here it says requires bomb, which is awesome. Another way to see what something requires is by going to files, which you're going to need to do no matter what. And then we want to go ahead and sort for our game version and our mod loader, and then click on this. When you click on it, you're going to see related projects down here, and that's going to show you Bomb as well. That was a lot to get to, so go to files, and then find the version you want, which is going to be the Neo Forge version, and then click on related projects, and there it is, required dependency. That means we need to get Bomb in order for this to work. Now, that being said, once you're on files and you have found the mod that you want for the correct mod, Loader, NeoForge 1.21.4, click the three dots here and click download file, and the download will begin after a few seconds. Just like with NeoForge, you may need to keep or save that file, and we need to repeat this for bomb, because remember, that's required. So we want to go to files, make sure we're getting the 1.21.4 NeoForge version. There it is. Click the three dots, click download, and again, wait a few seconds. Both of these mods, including the last mod we're going to be downloading, Sodium, are linked in the description down below. The link down below, though, for Sodium will take you to our website, where you can scroll down and click download Sodium, and that will take you to Moderate. I wanted to showcase Moderant's download process as well. If we go to versions here, we can actually then sort for game version 1.21.4, and then platform is Neo Forge, and right here it is. Similar to CurseForge, if you click on this file, you'll be able to see dependencies here if a mod has any. Sodium doesn't, so we don't have to worry about that, but if you do click on it, you'll be able to see that there. Nevertheless, we can go ahead and click the green download button here, and the download will begin. Make sure to keep or save the file. So that's everything downloaded, including our mods. This will work for other Minecraft mods as well, as long as they are NeoForge compatible. But I just wanted to show the download process for those. Now I want to move everything to the desktop, just because everything's easier to manage there. So we're going to move all of this to our desktop. For me, it came into my downloads folder. For most likely, you it did as well. But it's wherever files typically download on your computer is where your mods will most likely be. So we have our mods here, Sodium, Bomb, and Waystones. And then we have NeoForge. We're going to be starting off with NeoForge. To do that, right-click on NeoForge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But what if you don't have Java? 
Or what if you do, you click OK and it doesn't work? Well, you need Java 21 in that case. And in the description down below, we have a link to here, which is our in-depth guide on getting Java 21. As of Minecraft 1.21, Java 21 is required and you can download it and go through the tutorial here to get things up and running for Minecraft mods specifically. Now, we also have a link to the jar fix down below. This is gonna take all the jar files from your computer and link them back to Java, making them work together. But first, download and install Java, then run the jar fix, then you'll be good to go. From there, we go ahead and minimize our browser. And now all we need to do is right click on NeoForge, click on open with, click Java and click okay. And the NeoForge installer will open. Super easy from here, click install, click proceed and it will install NeoForge for Minecraft 1.21.4. Now with that being said, if this fails, it's for two reasons. One, Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher are open. Make sure both of those are closed when installing NeoForge. And you wanna also make sure that you've played Minecraft 1.21.4 before. Let's say you've never played Minecraft 1.21.4 before. Well, if that's the case, this won't work, right? You need to go play it then close out of it, come back, and you'll be good to go. Just open it to the main menu because it needs those version files for things to work. But as you can see, successfully install client profile NeoForge and we're good to go. We can click OK, we'll close out of that, and we can delete NeoForge from our desktop. Now let's get our mods installed. To do that, open up the Minecraft launcher and then in the Minecraft launcher, you should have a NeoForge installation already. We can check that by going to installations up here at the top of the Minecraft launcher and then making sure modded is checked because if mod is not checked, NeoForge won't be there. But if it is checked, there it is. There's NeoForge. 21.4 means Minecraft 1.21.4. And if you don't have NeoForge or it's not the 21.4 version, we can go ahead and do a new installation here. I'm going to name this simplegamehosting.com because that's the easiest way to play Minecraft, modded, or vanilla with your friends. Click the versions drop down box there and select release NeoForge 21.4, which is the 1.21.4 version. And we can go ahead and select my resolution as well so you can see better once we get in game. But now we have this simplegamehosting.com installation that most importantly is NeoForge 1.21.4. 21.4. Hover over this, click play, click play again, and now Minecraft's going to open, and that's the hard part. Getting NeoForge installed is the hardest part of getting Minecraft mods. Now that you have NeoForge, it's just dragging and dropping your mods, assuming you've downloaded them. Once you're on the Minecraft main menu, it's actually really easy to install your mods. Just click on mods here, and then go to open mods folder. Again, click on mods, and then open mods folder in the bottom left. Then drag and drop any mods you want to install. As long as they are NeoForge and 1.21.4 mods, things will work without any issue, which all of these are. As you can see on NeoForge and 1.21.4 on all of them. We are now good to go and we can go back to Minecraft and they're not here. And they're not going to be. You need to quit Minecraft and relaunch it. So you want to make sure that we're going to the Minecraft launcher and you may get an error that says this, something went wrong launching. Don't don't forget, it's not the mods you installed, you're all good. Uh, it's just you're trying to open up the Minecraft launcher too quickly. You have to wait a few seconds and then it will open correctly. For some reason, when you try to launch and relaunch Minecraft really fast, it doesn't like it. But we want to make sure that we're playing with our NeoForge installation, either the one that was there or the one that you created. And when we do, all of our mods will be installed and working in NeoForge. So once you're back to the main menu, all of our mods will be active. We can go to mods and see them. We've got sodium here, we've got waystones, and we've got bomb. All of these are working. We can go to options and video settings and see all of the stuff that Sodium adds there. And of course, I will quickly jump in game and we can see that Waystones are in fact working. We can go ahead and save that there, for example, and put another one over here. Obviously, you can find these randomly throughout the world, all of that stuff, but that is proof that the mod is working. So if you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below, but that's how to get mods in Minecraft 1.21.4. Be sure to subscribe for more incredible Minecraft content nearly every single day of the week, and we'll see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.